Hello, Rex Busterfield here, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Qualcomm Cap Synth. The usual way to recreate the sound of a guitar, loudspeaker, and cabinet system is to create an impulse response, either with a sudden clap of white noise or a sine wave sweep, and then this is fed into a convolution effect which recreates the sound as it was captured with the impulse response. Now one big shortcoming of this system is that that is a momentary response of the cabinet and speakers and doesn't take into account interactions between the contents of the source material. So if you play a chord for instance you might get a different tone to that created by the impulse response. This is because loudspeakers in particular are so-called non-linear systems, which means that, for example, the sound will be a different tone at a higher volume and a different tone, as I mentioned before, for chords than single notes. So the cap synth takes a different approach. It's a cabinet synthesizer. This means that you have all sorts of parameters to control various aspects of the loudspeaker driver unit, um, the cone breakup and resonances or formants in the enclosure itself. That means you can hopefully maybe find a tone that's uh, uniquely yours. Now, I'm not going to claim this is a better approach than an impulse response system. It is a different approach, and I'm not a guitarist, so I can't judge really on the outcome of this, so I shall rely upon some feedback to tell me if it's of any use or not. So I'll give you uh, a quick run through of the controls, and then I'll let you hear some uh, examples using the presets. The match knob sets the matching between the amplifier and the loudspeaker, so at times one is a perfect match, so 50 watt amplifier into a 50 watt speaker, and as you increase this, the speaker gets driven harder against its suspension limits, so at times two, for instance, it would be a 60 watt amplify into a 30 watt speaker which I gather guitarists do sometimes at the risk of burning out the voice coil to get a, a more harsh sound. The size knob sets the diameter of the speaker driver or drivers and it goes from 4 inch up to 18 inch. There's a lot of parameters controlled by this which I've derived from what literature I could find. The stiff knob uh, sets the simulated stiffness of the cone and suspension system. So at maximum, it would be the stiffest suspension and cone. Now, cone breakup is uh, very undesirable in hi-fi speaker systems, but in uh, guitar uh, speakers, it's actually desirable because it adds to the coloration and the tone produced by the speakers. The localised modes on the cone um, create uh, quite wide bandwidth systems and there can be several of them. So I've provided four modes here and these are the base frequencies but above those frequencies you get additional resonance. Uh, the level controls can be either positive phase or negative phase and when you've got a mix that you like you can set the overall amount with the amount knob. Now the speaker box itself, the enclosure, um, can have formants, these are resonances that actually add to the tone colour of the sound. I provided two formants, you, know, you set the bass frequencies with these two knobs, the resonances and the amount of those uh, uh, resonances that are added to the signal with the amount knobs. 
Now, these resonances produced by the cone breakup, matching and enclosure formants can actually produce um, a higher signal level than the incoming. So here we can set the wet signal produced. And this is a mix between the dry and wet. And of course, this is the output volume. And for auditioning, we can turn the processing off, in which case I've called it Hi-Fi because there is no change to the signal level other than from the volume control system, or turn it back on to the guitar speaker system. This little pink knob injects pink noise into the input of the chain, and you might find it useful uh, when adjusting the controls, so you can hear the effect, or you could just add a little bit of pink noise to your guitar sound. I've provided some uh, presets with silly names um, for you to just audition uh, some of what this is capable of and to perhaps use those starting points. So I'll run through those now. So this is the dry, unprocessed sound of a dry guitar clip. <laughs> So I'll turn the cap synth on now. So that's an example of some of the sounds that the Cookham Cap Synth can make. Now, as is usually the case, there's a lot more information in the user guide. And there's also some interesting stuff in the background info folder about loudspeakers and guitar speakers and so on. Now, I've no idea if this is going to be of any use to anybody, um, but you could give it a whirl, see what you think, let me know. And until the next time, bye!